Hi guys, what's up? It's the Maris. I am back with another video. And today I'll be, you know, taking you throughout a day in the life of an IT auditor. My day actually already started because um, we just got out of a call for a component team meeting. And that is just the meeting where we discuss the component teams that we have. So we are the main audit team. And then throughout the world, there are different like component teams and they also perform audit procedures that ultimately will be present in our engagement file. And so we have to ensure that the right procedures are performed by these component teams. And so that meeting lasted about 30 minutes and it was just a meeting to see where each component team is at and if they are on track with the procedures that we agreed with them for them to perform. Apart from that, as you guys may know, right now we are in our busy season for IT audit. And I definitely noticed that yesterday because yesterday I was in and out of meetings. I think there were about 10 meetings, each lasting from like 30 minutes up until two hours. And so by the end of yesterday, I was just glad that I didn't pick yesterday as a day to vlog because it, it would have just been so hectic. But today is a little bit more chill because there are only three meetings planned. I'm also working together with an associate on a client that I'm planned for this week. And for that client, we are finalizing our walkthrough procedures today. And walkthrough procedures are those procedures where you try to obtain an understanding of the process. So you pretty much ask the client, can you please explain to me how the process is being done? What controls are being performed? And you also ask them for a test of one. So you ask them for one sample so that you can verify that the process is in design effective. And adjacent to that, we also request additional samples for our operating effectiveness testing. And that is just for our interim procedures. So um, throughout the year, the client will perform certain controls or certain procedures. And so, for example, if that procedure is done on a weekly basis, we need to select a sample of about five in order to get some sort of assurance that that procedure operated the same way over time. So we also tend to select some additional samples in order to test the operating effectiveness of uh, certain controls or certain procedures that are being performed at the client. So at one o'clock, we have our last walkthrough discussion with the client. And then at 3.30, there is a meeting with Core Audit and that is for another client uh, in which they are going to discuss the audit stra strategy based on our initial findings in the planning phase. And that meeting is attended by like seven or eight people from audit and myself. So yes, it's going to be a very eventful day. My five minutes of break are up, so I'm going to continue working. And um, first up, I'm actually going to respond to some emails because I have a few emails that I need to respond to both from clients or from uh, other colleagues. So I'm going to do that. And then I will start working on like finalizing or preparing for the final walkthrough meeting and also looking at the documentation that we already received. So should we have any questions, we can already post them in the meeting that we have today. So let's get to work and I hope you enjoyed today's video. All the emails that had to be sent out are sent out. Right now, I'm going to call another senior for one of our clients and discuss with her what we can best do in this case because we are struggling to get all the documentation that we requested from a client. And we have to present our findings tomorrow to our core audit colleagues. And it is kind of impossible to do if you haven't reached a conclusion yet yourself as Chris Assurance with regards to the procedures that you perform because you're missing client documentation. So I will uh, check with her, pick her brain, see how she thinks about it and see if we need to escalate it or if we need to contact other people in order to like find answers. But that's what I'm going to do right now. This is what I made for lunch. So I made some chicken, broccoli, there's some guacamole. I added some cilantro, coriander, and a boiled egg. And I'm going to drizzle some olive oil on top and then I should be good to go. Okay. So I have my food here and I have a whole bottle of olive oil. So I'm going to drizzle a little bit on top and then eat. And then in half an hour, we have the walkthrough meeting. I was just busy on the phone for most of the morning, like talking to people, talking to a client, talking to one of my colleagues, figuring things out and things like that. So I'm going to quickly eat and talk to you guys later. I 
right so i'm done eating just in time because right now it's one o'clock and that means we have a walkthrough meeting with the client so i went through all the evidence that we received i went through the walkthrough description and i think i'm well prepared right now so i just joined the call i'm also the first one there so i'm just waiting for everyone else to join the call and then we can get started with um, our walkthrough discussion with the client <music> So the walkthrough meeting is done. It went really well. We had all our questions answered by the client and we almost received all the documentation. So right now the associate that I'm working with is documenting everything in the file. And in the meantime, right now, I'm going to prepare for the next meeting because I have to present our findings from a risk assurance perspective. So I have to talk about our findings from the IT general control testing as well as from IT dependency testing. So just from like having an understanding and performing a test of one, I will present the findings to the core audit team. I will just join for the first part of the meeting, present the findings, and based on these findings, the core audit team will further shape the audit plan and audit strategy for this particular client. So yes, I'm going to do that right now. The meeting is in about half an hour, so I have plenty of time to prepare, so yeah. Ja, in ieder geval, we hebben voor, vanuit Risk Assurance hebben we onze planningswerkzaamheden afgerond. Uh, dus uh, daarbij hebben we de ITGC's uh, getest. I am parked again. I actually just picked up a package. So I went to a convenience store to pick up this package and it's from the Douglas. And the Douglas is like the Netherlands is Sephora for my American viewers. So I bought some makeup because I was looking for some natural foundation and they sold it at the Douglas online. They didn't sell it in store. So that's why I ordered it online. And now I'm outside the gym, but my gym reservation is at 6.30. And right now it's 6.11, so I still have like 20 minutes. So next to the gym, there's a grocery store. And I'm going to look for some wet cloths in order to clean the car from the inside. Because I cleaned it from the outside this past weekend. And I want to like clean it from the inside as well. So I'm going to look if they have those antibacterial wipes at the grocery store. And then I'm going to head to the gym and get a workout in. So let's go. This is what I got uh, at the grocery store. I got some disinfectant wipes. I got two packs. And I got some Kit Kats in the matcha flavor because I worked really hard today. I got some avocados and I got a hat of broccoli. So I'm going to the gym right now. So let's go. I am back home. I had a really good workout. I even like ended it with a seven minute like meditation session. I'm sure people at the gym are like, what's wrong with her? But anyway, it was just a really good workout. I already reserved the spot for tomorrow, but tomorrow... So today I actually trained my legs and my glutes and tomorrow I'm going to do like my arms and my chest and see how much I can lift there. But I'm just taking it very easy. I'm not lifting too much because then, you know, you'll be really sore if you like start off heavy immediately. But um, right now I'm just gonna put the groceries inside and I will take the trash because I made chicken today and if you leave chicken like too long outside in the trash, it's going to smell. So I, I just wanna throw that away. So that's what I'm going to do. But before I throw the trash out, I'm going to make some dinner because I'm hungry and I also need to eat before nine o'clock. So um, I'll do that right now. I have some leftover chicken, so I will probably throw it in a wrap with some avocado and some cheese and call it a day. So that's a quick and easy dinner. So yeah. All right. I know this doesn't look the most aesthetically pleasing, but I made a wrap. I added some shredded cheese to melt on it and I added some leftover chicken, one boiled egg and one avocado. And I sprinkled it with a bunch of seasoning. So I'm just gonna eat this quickly and then throw the trash out. Alrighty. Here is 
Here's the trash. So, you open it. Your trash. Close it. And then it's gone. There are all the trash bags or trash things. I am back home and I'm going to end the vlog here as well because I'm going to shower, I'm going to edit this video, publish it, and then head straight to bed. It's been a long day, but it's been a very productive day nonetheless. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you guys next time. Bye.